Hi, Lou here to talk briefly about virtual, that is to say, online conventions, game conventions. We have the coronavirus shutdown. This is uh, May of 2020, early May. And conventions this summer and some later are being canceled. Sometimes there's a virtual convention scheduled instead. That is, people use Zoom, Tabletop Simulator, Online Play, at other locations, even Vassal, which is normally used for distance play of board games, to substitute for face-to-face. -face. This method works better for events such as with panels or talks, where people would normally sit in the audience than for playing games. Online can be good for visuals as well, although it tends to be small on your screen in some cases if you're looking at several things at once. On the other hand, some things can't be well reproduced online, such as a costume contest or parade or vendor sales. What tools do people use? Well, I've used Skype in the past and other software long ago for conferencing online. But Zoom, which is the program of choice now, is a relatively new program. It's free for up to 40 minute meetings. If you want to go more than 40 minutes, which is not unusual for businesses or education, then you have to buy a copy of the program. Zoom works decently. It's easy to use, much easier than Skype in my experience. When you're in a meeting, people can see you, and on your screen you can see the other participants in small windows, barring a large meeting, of course. My largest meeting was 13 people. And I'm not sure what happens when you have a meeting with 100 people, which you can get with the free version. Google and Microsoft are trying to catch up. Google recently made their conferencing program free. That's not Hangouts, although it's related to Hangouts. It's something I hadn't even heard of until about a week ago, Google Meet. Microsoft is even farther behind. Then we have some people who use Discord. But as far as I know, there's no video in Discord especially younger gamers who may have used it for online games before the pandemic. It's been a favorite for three college game clubs that I know of, even though it's not really suitable for that purpose. They just like Discord. Now, I think that when the pandemic has passed, which could be a couple of years, and conventions meet as in the past, they will have virtual components. That is, people who cannot travel or cannot afford to travel in accommodation may be able to participate via computer networks. Perhaps even in tournaments, it's certainly feasible for some games. Of course, you may not know because it's not that well known, but even before the pandemic, there were virtual conferences, again, to save a lot of money and time. There was no uh, go and meet somewhere component. It was all virtual. Now, life won't ever be the same for convention goers after the pandemic, which might end up being an improvement. Who knows? Thanks for listening.